Welcome back everybody. I'm in the middle of the Griddlemore tour. We've already hit Southern California, Arizona, Texas, and Arkansas. Got a little break right now and I want to bring you my recipe, my latest version of bacon fried corn. I've already made well over 1,000 servings of this recipe on tour this year, so we're going to start it out right here, hopefully one take. I have the Blackstone 22-inch Pro Series. This was a Black Friday deal last fall. And then we're going to go down with some bacon. So this is a right brand bacon. You can see I've just chopped that up. So straight down on the griddle top, something like that. And check this out, the brand new Blackstone Adventure Ready spatulas okay these are totally redesigned from the ones that they had a couple of years ago they had the little hinged locking system I love these things so one piece okay it's that spring steel uh, stainless and nice and light so for a guy like me that griddles all day long sometimes the big spatulas can get to be a little bit cumbersome and these suckers are light I can flip these things all day long. All right, come over here, Hannah. So Hannah's helping me out behind the camera today, and we're going to try, like I said earlier, to do this in one take. So what is bacon fried corn? Well, I'll tell you what, I've been cooking on Blackstone griddles for almost a decade, and at first I never made bacon fried corn. In fact, never knew what it was. Uh, we have a sales manager named Mike Midgley. In the early days, six, seven years ago, I would go and cook for Blackstone at trade shows and store demos, hamburgers, quesadillas, steaks, and things like that. Mike would always say to me, hey, Todd, did you make bacon fried corn when you were out this time? And I would say, well, Mike, what's bacon fried corn? And he'd say, bacon and corn. And I literally chuckled out loud. I said, bacon and corn? That's like the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Now, see, I grew up in Pennsylvania, so we didn't have access to cool Mexican dishes, southwestern dishes. I didn't know that bacon fried corn was a whole, you know, a whole thing, a street corn, a genre. Didn't know that. So about a year later, I decided to make bacon fried corn. And Mike's recipe is pretty darn simple. It's like bacon, corn, and crushed red pepper. He doesn't put a lot in there. I made it. It blew my mind. It really did. It's just the mixture of sweet and savory. Well, then, like I said, I went on to realize there's a whole genre of Mexican corn and street corn. And, of course, you see that way more probably out on the West Coast. Come over here, Hannah. Let's check out the bacon. And so the cool thing about bacon fried corn is it's the ultimate. I would dare say the absolute number one side dish for Southwestern or Mexican cooking. But... I made a lot of it, a lot of it over the last five, six years. I would dare say it's also an incredible side dish for barbecue. There we go. We're still going with the one take, by the way. I haven't stopped yet. Woo, you got to feel that dead air. All right, Hannah, come over here and show them the bacon. Now, I learned when making bacon fried corn, I learned that the secret, one of the key secrets is to make sure your bacon is done or at least like 80, 90% done before you put your frozen corn in there. Because see, right now the bacon isn't done. And if I was if I was to dump the frozen corn on there, all cooking will cease and we'll have a big old gelatinous mess of stuff that nobody's gonna wanna eat. So there we go. And I'm also gonna try to insert some pictures right here of us making bacon fried corn this year. So this year we have a tour manager, um, a field manager named Belicia. She's amazing and she makes it look extra pretty. So we're gonna make it look, try to make it look like that here today. And uh, if you haven't seen me on the Griddle Door Tour, make sure you come on out because we're fixing to head on down to Florida, West Florida, Pensacola area next. We're heading into Georgia, Tennessee. We're gonna be in Virginia still. We're gonna be in Southern Illinois, Ohio. Did I say Virginia? Yeah, if I didn't. We're gonna be in Central Pennsylvania. We're gonna be Long Island, New York, all over the place. Okay, so here, check out this bacon. You can see it's looking really good, okay? Now, when I make this on tour, we make monster, monster portions of this. So if you come out to see me, we're gonna make 10 to 15 pounds at a time. It'll blow your mind, a giant hotel pan with 10 to 15 pounds, huge. I'm gonna try to break it down 
and make something a little more manageable today. So we're, we have about two pounds of corn. I like to use the frozen corn, uh, but you could certainly use fresh. Canned would be dead last in my uh, list of uh, preference there. So, but again, you want to make sure that bacon is almost done, which I think we're getting pretty darn close. But here's what we're going to do, folks. Focus in on that bacon, Hannah. And then we're going to take our frozen corn and we're going to put it down here in this bacon grease. So two pounds of frozen corn. And this is roughly three quarters pound of bacon over there. I like to have, you know, it, it's flexible. I like to have corn is going to be your number one ingredient, but I like to have a good amount of the bacon. So you can instantly hear that sizzle. Okay. I'm going to be monitoring the bacon as well to make sure it does not burn. Key, key that we do not burn the bacon, right, CJ? <laughs> Just giving you a hard time. So that bacon is, I would say, 75% done. We're going to straight up mix that bacon with the corn. Now, you can use as little or as much bacon as you want to. I'm just trying to make this kind of a good example of what you might get in the cup if you come out to see us on the Griddle Moore Tour. Now, speaking, speaking of the Griddle Moore Tour, check it out. A lot of you have been asking about our VIP hats. Of course, the VIP tickets sold out a long time ago. Don't be disheartened. You don't need a ticket to come visit us on tour because it's unlimited. One, come on, come all, something like that. And the first 20 VIP ticket holders at every show is gonna get one of these bad boys. So definitely, probably the sweetest. Last year's hat was pretty sweet, but I've heard people say that this could be the most sweet hat or promo item we've ever made. So let me put my bowl down here. All right, come back over here, Hannah. Focus in close on this. Okay, you definitely wanna be on high heat. And why is that? That's because we, we just dumped a few pounds of frozen corn, okay? Your steel griddle top's gonna need a few minutes to recover, but I was cranked up. I was probably around 500 degrees. I dumped the corn on here, and it probably subsided down to around, uh, or the temperature probably, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Went down, something like that. Probably down to 300 degrees, like a towel, it's already backed up. You can hear that sizzling right there, okay? Now next, what I like to do, is I like to add a seasoning. Actually, come over here, Hannah. Let's show them this right here. Let's show them. Blackstone's brand new accessory bin. This is, these are magnetic. They are pretty darn sweet, and they fit right on the side of your side shelf or any griddle. I have been using the tequila lime pretty much exclusively on this recipe for the last couple years, but any kind of Southwestern or Tex-Mex seasoning works really, really well. You want to have cumin in there. Cumin, red chili, very key. So if I wasn't using tequila lime, you could easily use the hatch green chili or the street taco. It's absolutely amazing. I probably actually made this recipe with street taco more than any, but the last two years, exclusively tequila lime. Let's come in here, Hannah. And uh, how are we doing with the one take? We're surviving, folks. We haven't, uh, I haven't been bored yet and I haven't forgotten anything to say. So we're gonna go straight down with the tequila lime. And if you know me, you know I love this stuff. The chunky garlic paste. This stuff is so good. So obviously nobody is gonna argue with you that uh, fresh garlic is definitely the best, right? I mean, fresh is the best. The jarred garlic that sits on the shelf for a couple of years, that's probably gonna be last, but you know, arguably better than nothing. I found this a few years ago use it like crazy. I have personally bought a couple thousand tubes of this stuff. Chunky garlic paste. It's cooking oil with garlic. It has a very fresh smell and a very fresh taste. So if you want fresh garlic but you don't have time like I do and don't like I don't in a parking lot situation to you know pill up 40 cloves of garlic go with the garlic paste. So here we go. Put a little bit of the garlic down there. Again, I'm not going to tell you a measurement on that because you can figure it out. We like garlic around here, so a lot of garlic. And we're going to mix that straight up with the corn. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? <laughs> Shout out to Paula Abdul if you're watching. Do you think she's a griddler, everybody? Let me know. So, um, folks, don't have a lot of time to be doing highly edited videos here on the back porch now. We're on tour, but that's kind of cool because one of the things I've been thinking a lot about lately, one of the things I've been thinking about is just how much I like to do this off the cuff. I have literally cooked this recipe 
hundreds upon hundreds of times. I've cooked this recipe in probably around 35 states, maybe 36 or so. And so a lot of these recipes, they're just ingrained in me. I don't even need to really think when I'm making them. And so hopefully I'm bringing you some of the excitement of this. You know, for me, the recipe has got to be good, right? It has to be good food, but if you're not having fun, what's the point, all right? And that's one reason why our demos, that's one reason why the Blackstone Griddle Mortar works out so well. I mean, we love smoked food, right? I love brisket, I love pulled pork, I love it all. But nobody's gonna sit there and watch me smoke a brisket for 14 hours. You get the point? All right, so back here to the recipe. It's fun. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everything's looking good. At this point on the tour, typically I'll grab a fork and I'll grab a plastic fork that I can throw away. It's all sanitary. I'll reach in there. And I'll tell you, friends, be careful. This is hot food on a very hot griddle top, so try not to burn yourself, but I'm assuming the responsibility, knowing that this is a hot fork full of food. Oh, I'll go. I'm gonna hit it up. One more touch. One more touch of that tequila lime. Mm. One thing I really like about tequila lime is it does have a really good lime flavor. I think uh, we all have, perhaps, I know I have tried uh, lime seasonings that are on the market before, and they have like a, I would almost say a synthetic lime flavor. It's just not very good. And so, Blackstone's tequila lime, delicious. All right, so back here to the grill top, I have cilantro. Typically at this point, I'll grab some fresh chopped cilantro. And we'll throw that straight down. You can certainly do this after the fact, but I like to do this on the griddle because I drop the cilantro and make it look all pretty and people take pictures of it, lots of fun. So, there we go. I'm gonna mix it up. And again, the key is hot, hot bacon grease with that corn. Make sure you're watching and managing your food, making sure the bacon is done before you put the frozen corn in there. Otherwise, again, if stuff isn't cooked right, it's not gonna look right, it's not gonna taste right, your friends and your family are gonna be upset. Now, I'm at home, so I'm gonna double dip. I would never, ever do this on the road. But I'm at home, so I can do whatever I wanna do. Perfect, okay. So I'll show you. I'll show you how we do this. By the way, loving it. Loving these new Adventure Ready spatulas. Okay, so this is how we'll do it here. Let me move things um, around here. Focusing on the side table handy right here. Put down our Blackstone Molcajete. Let me know in the comments down below if anybody has those. And uh, we're gonna serve this up. Now typically I'm going into a large hotel pan. <laughs> so I might, uh, I might spill some of this today, friends. Here we go, this is probably gonna work out better if I just go over the griddle. There we go, it's the first time I've done this directly into a, a Molcajete. So this will be our, um, our giant family uh, style. Shout out to Blackstone Betty, by the way, everybody. Make sure you're watching family style with Blackstone Betty. This will be my family style, um, family size style bowl. bowl. Woo! Man, that was tough to say. Of bacon fried corn. Speaking of our shows, make sure you guys are also watching uh, CJ with CJ's first cooking show. Make sure you're watching Nate, Chef Nate Libby with Cook, Eat, Repeat. And we've got just so many fun things going on. So come over here to the table, Hannah, and we'll show people what this looks like. Follow me over here. Okay. So that is the bacon fried corn in its most primal form. I don't think I've ever said the word primal in a video. So here, Hannah, which one am I drinking today? Oh, the green one. We're going with the green one, the grapefruit. Here we go, focus in. We're gonna crack this bad boy open. And we're fixing to have us a Mexican street corner, as a, we call it a bacon fried corn feast. This is the way that Belicia, uh, Belicia our uh, tour field manager, serves things up this year. Okay, here we go. So we have a serving cup that's, you know, comparable in size to this. It's a plastic one, obviously made for food service, but we're gonna do it here with these little glass ones that I picked up at Walmart. I think they were called dessert dishes. And uh, the key to this, you know, I made this 
folks, for years I made this recipe a lot like this, pretty much exactly like this. And then I was out in California one year and I ran into a guy, I cannot remember his name, so if you're watching, let me know your name down below, but he's an engineer, uh, a train engineer out there, and he told me that the food trucks in California like to put flaming hot Cheetos on top of their uh, bacon fried corn. Of course, flaming hot Cheetos are okay, but my favorite is hands down the cheddar jalapeno Cheeto. So we're gonna go with that. Let's grab a drink real quick. I love grapefruit soda. Growing up, my mom used to buy it a lot, and for some reason I like it. Okay, so here's our toppings right here. If you wanna focus in, we got a bunch of stuff going on over here. And uh, we can do this in any particular way. Off the top of my head, I can't think of the exact uh, uh, sequence that Belicia uses when she makes these, but first is some type of a Mexican crumbling or a grating cheese. Sometimes we'll use queso uh, fresco. Fresco? Is that Hmm, am I saying that right? Yeah, fresco. And, and sometimes we use cotilla. The, the neat thing about cotilla is sometimes uh, it's crumbled into you know larger pieces and sometimes it's grated really fine like this. So if we can find it in the grated version in stores, which sometimes is hard to find, we'll put it on like this. Of course, we're wearing gloves and Belisha is using spoons and everything's sanitary. We have, we have food, managing licenses, all that stuff. So we do it something like that. And then typically, we'll go down with those cheddar jalapeno Cheetos next, okay? And uh, it's a mixture of broken pieces, smaller broken pieces, hopefully not too long. Uh, sometimes we've crushed it in the past, but this year it seems like we're doing these little, uh, you know, quarter, third size um, broken pieces. And I really like the way they look on there. And of course, the neat thing about uh, the Cheetos is amazing flavor, but the crunch is killer it's absolutely insane and then next we're gonna go in with crema another one of the things that on tour over the years I grew up using sour cream didn't have a clue what this was in fact the first time I saw it and tried it on a whim on tour five years ago I go oh crema right well then I later on learned it was crema so here we go it's a Mexican table cream a sour cream if you will and we like to put a little bit on drizzle it across the top Something like this. Hey, we're, we're <laughs> unless our camera blows up, we are currently succeeding with our <laughs> with our one take version of this video. So something like that, and then we'll grab a little wedge of lime. On tour, we're using small bowls this year, so we're using like a little one eighth size portion. Hannah, for these, should I go like the one eighth or a quarter? I think the one eighth. Okay, so. We do them, Belisha usually does them something like this, folks. Uh, when you come out too, make sure you say hi to uh, Belisha and Raul, they're amazing. And uh, then I go with Cholula Chili Garlic. Uh, it's been hard to find, I haven't found it on tour this year. When, they, when Cholula came out with Chili Garlic year, years ago, it was hard to find and then slowly all the stores got it. And then all of a sudden, the stores didn't have it again, like over the last year. Wow, my wife found it on Amazon a couple years ago, I know Blackstone Betty also buys it on Amazon. So we buy it in these big old bulk, 64 ounce, two quarts, so half gallon size, and just put it in one of these Blackstone squeeze bottles. And here's what we do. Typically, we'll just take a little bit on top, and this is nice for contrast. It contrasts, it contrasts, it contrasts <laughs> nicely with the white. And then of course, uh, it tastes good as well. But friends, take a look at that. So the typical guest would grab our little wedge of lime, something like this, and squeeze it, oh yeah, squeeze it into their corn, grab a spoon, mmm, are you ready for this? Gonna get on in there, whoops, mmm, trying to make sure I get a good survey of all the food for you, there we go, let's give it a try. So folks, take one more look at this right here. That is my bacon fried corn. That's the recipe I've been making with this the last year or so. 
I think I've finally reached the pinnacle of bacon fried corn, of street corn perfection, if you will. So thanks for watching. Um, catch me on tour. Uh, go out to facebook.com slash Blackstone Products and click on events. You can see all of our tour dates. We're touring all the way through the 3rd of July this year where we end up somewhere up there in Long Island. But until next time, this is Todd saying praise the Lord and pass the bacon fried corn.